Well, have you heard of this? It's called yarn bombing. If you live in Fairhope, you've probably seen it. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko explains how the most inanimate objects are being made cozier. Greg, there's a group of ladies in Fairhope that is armed with knitting needles and yarn, and they have no hesitations when it comes to using their weapons. Inside Fairhope's <laughs> yarn cottage, this group of ladies gathers twice a week, rain or shine. Usually it is knit one per one into a sweater or a scarf. But for the last couple of weeks, another idea has been spun into action. One day my daughter said, you know, let's try and uh, start this yarn bombing, get it going. What is yarn bombing? Think warm, cozy knitted sweaters for inanimate objects. In this case, the post outside the store. A lot of it, I think, is not quite as eclectic as what you see out on our poles. Um, it's very indicative of the kind of place that Fairhope is. From crocheted flowers and animals to 3D designs, this project was a labor of many hours, all part of a special mission to surprise the Yarn Cottage store owner. And a successful surprise it was. I was like... <laughs> I can call the painter now and tell him not to come and paint the post. <laughs> this yarn bomb was also strategically planned, being finished just a week before Fairhope's big art show. We can enjoy it and the people who visit here can enjoy it too. And weaving the web of this extravagant yarn bomb was just another way the group became more close-knit. <laughs> We're close and supportive. We're always there for one another. We really have a sisterhood. I have enough yarn to make enough. If you're interested in joining Fairhope's Knitting Club, the ladies meet every Tuesday and Thursday and say anyone is welcome. Greg, back to you. All right, Christina, interesting stuff.